Now, yesterday we told you that uh, Zimmerman's attorneys have quit on him, uh, and they say this because they haven't been able to get in touch with him since Sunday. Uh, that can't be the only possible reason. It's not like, hey, I couldn't reach somebody for a day and a half. I'm outie. That's not how legal uh, defense works. Uh, they must have had a whole host of issues with him, uh, and they say that they have lost contact with him, but they believe he's still in the United States. Trayvon Martin's family is now concerned, and they're saying the authorities should track him down and make sure they know where he is, because he could, of course, be a flight risk. But uh, one of the main problems that the lawyers had was that he wouldn't cooperate with them, and instead he started calling the prosecutor, which then the prosecutor uh, couldn't take that call without legal counsel, so they couldn't even have that conversation. And here's the really interesting part. He called Sean Hannity of Fox News. Let's watch Sean Hannity talk about that. Now that was George Zimmerman's former defense attorneys, Hal Urig and Craig Sonner, stepping down from the case today. Now one of the reasons that was cited during the press conference was an alleged conversation that George Zimmerman had with me. Now before we continue tonight, I want to set the record straight about a couple of things. Now for a few weeks we have been pursuing an interview with Mr. Zimmerman to give him a chance to tell his side of the story. Now yesterday I was contacted by an individual that we in fact believe was George Zimmerman. He reached out to me, we spoke on the phone about his case, and I agreed not to report on the contents of that conversation. That's it. I don't know. I know nothing about his relationship with his now former attorneys. Well, that's really interesting. Think Progress uh, put out a really smart tweet on this. They're like, you know, there is no privilege for, uh, for uh, Hannity's conversation with Zimmerman. It's not protected. It's not like an attorney-client privilege or anything. So Hannity should be deposed and should have to testify at trial as to what Zimmerman told him. That's a pretty good point. Okay, now the more interesting part of this is look at what Zimmerman's family and Zimmerman himself have done here with this case. Apparently, they have lost faith to some degree in their ability to win the legal case. They're not even communicating with their lawyers anymore. But they have decided that they can win this on a political level. And so where do they go? They go to Fox News, they go to Sean Hannity. And so it's not that bad an idea, actually, because if you turn this into a political issue, well, then the mainstream media is going to have to call it 50-50. They call everything 50-50. It doesn't matter. It could be, you know, get, pick an issue. 97% of scientists say that there's climate change. Well, I don't know. Uh, other people that are funded by the oil industry said there isn't climate change, so we're going to call it even. We're going to call That's what they do. They're neutral you know, to the facts. So now if you make this a political issue and you get people behind you like Fox News, then Zimmerman could say, well, there you go. How dare you? You're being biased by saying X, Y, or Z facts about the case, which, of course, don't happen to be in Zimmerman's favor. It's a fascinating way of trying to win over the court of public opinion or at least neutralize the people who are against you by actually, because they're presenting evidence. And you don't have the evidence. When we look at the videotape, you don't look like you're badly hurt. You, there's no blood on you. That means you couldn't have possibly been beneath Trayvon Martin when you shot him, etc. So if you don't have the evidence and you don't have faith that you could win legally, why not go to Fox News and try to have them pervert the issue for you? I mean, that's what oil companies do, banks do. If it works for them, why not for George Zimmerman? And it might not be that, sav uh, not that bad an idea.